This next exercise is called the incline dumbbell biceps curl. It's a great exercise allowing a full range of motion for the biceps and because of the incline it allows for a great stretch in the biceps muscles. We'll first set Anthony up with his postural alignment by keeping his feet flat on the floor. He'll now bring the dumbbells into place by leaning back and bringing the arms at waist side. Great. From this position Anthony is focused on keeping the elbows directed directly to the floor. He'll now contract the biceps by flexing his elbow joint, bringing the dumbbells up, fully contracting and slowly coming back down. Without rest, all the way down to a fully extended position, he brings the weights back up, exhaling as he fully contracts the biceps and back down. You can see that great stretch in those biceps muscles. He brings them back up, exhaling, fully contracting those muscles, back down, a smooth transition from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top, all the way down. Now three more in real time fashion, right back up, exhaling, contracting fully at the top, right back down, a smooth transition from the bottom to the top, back up, good, squeezing, again back down as he inhales, you one more Anthony, great, exhale as you contract up, fully squeeze at the top. Now Anthony, why don't you sit back for a sec and we'll do a variation of that exercise called the incline hammer curl. This time his palms face his body. This time the emphasis now goes to the outside of the bicep to a muscle called the brachialis muscle and the forearms called the brachial radialis. This is a great exercise developing the other portions of the bicep and forearm muscles. He would follow the same form bringing the dumbbells back up, keeping the elbows pointed to the ground and then back down in a smooth transition to the bottom position. Very good.